Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive classical report events and in the previous video we covered our first interactive classical report event that is add line selection. Now we will move on to our next interactive classical report event that is add user command. Now, similar to add line selection, this interactive classical report event also require action from our end. We all know very, very well now, event always triggered by a action or it will trigger automatically when a time has reached. Now, add user command also requires a action from our end means we need to perform the action and add user command event will trigger. Now what is that action? When user clicks on the function created using pf status at that time add user command event trigger. Whenever we will create our own functions or functionality, whenever we will click on to those functions or we can say functionalities, which event will trigger at that time, add user command. Important concept because so far, yes, we have not covered how to create our own functions. So firstly, we will learn how to create our own functions or functionalities and when we will click on to those functions or functionalities which event will trigger at user command event will trigger and creating your own functions and functionalities is not limited to this classical report in the future we have alv topic in the future, you have module pull topic. So every time you will create your own functions in the same to same way. So it's a one time learning. So creating own functions or own functionalities is same to same way. One time we will learn and in the future also same to same learning will be there. So firstly, what I will do I will show you one sample demo and we will develop same to same example. Suppose what we will do, I will go for a program. Okay, suppose. Suppose this is the program. I will run this program. I will give a input to the program. I'm executing the program. Okay, so have you seen as in the current scenario, this data is coming from order header table. So we will develop a program in which we display the data, in which we display the data from which table, order header table only. And you all know this is which list, basic list. Basic list is what? The list which is coming for the first time is called as basic list. Whenever I click on to the execute button, yes, this is which list? Basic list. Now, firstly, what we will do? We will develop a program in which we will display the data from order header table, yes, on the basic list. As of now, this is classical report because see, we have only basic list. Now, have you seen? We have our two own functions. This is which function? Ascending function. This is which function? Descending function. So firstly, we will learn how to create our own functions. This will be the first learning in the topic. How to create our own functions. Suppose I'm clicking on to this function. Whenever you will click on to the functions, at that time, which event will trigger at user command? See, as of now, what is the order number? One, two, three, four, five. Suppose I will click on to descending order. So whenever I will click on to this function, 
have you seen what is the output now? Five, four, three, two, one. Now this is which list? Secondary list. Secondary list. We interacted with the basic list, and then which list came? Secondary list. Suppose I'm clicking on to this button to sort data in ascending order. Now have you seen again data sorted in ascending order? Again descending. Again ascending. So this is what we will develop. Firstly, we will learn how to create our own functions. So what is the first step we will do? We'll firstly just display a simple output in which we will display that data from which table? Order header table, okay? And up to that level, data is on the basic list. We have only, only basic list. And you can understand in a way up to that level, we have only, only classical report. Then after that, what we will do, we will learn then how to create our own functions. We will create our two own functions. One function to sort data in ascending order. One function to sort data in descending order. That will be a huge learning how to create our own functions. Whenever we will click on to those functions, we all know which event will trigger at that point of time at user command. So if user will click on to descending button, data will sort in descending order. See here, this is basic list. Whenever you will go for further actions on the basic list, yes, it will go to which list? Secondary list. We put so much stress. Interactive classical report is one in which we have basic list. Whenever you will go for further navigation or any actions, it will take to which list? Secondary list. So this will be our full requirement. And it will be a huge learning because we will learn how to create our own functions, how to write uh, those law, how to write the logic on those functions, how at user command event will trigger on those functions. So we will start with this particular program. So what we will do? Firstly, we will go for simple, simple program in which we will display that data from order header table first. So I will write Z interactive report. Okay. I will go for create. I will write interactive classical report and in the bracket suppose I will mention we will go for now which event add user command I will take the type as executable program I will go for save I will save it as a local object We will take input in the program and we will take a range of order number. You all know whenever you want a range of order number, we need to take select option. I will give some name to the select option. S underscore O N O four is the keyword and I'm writing L V underscore O N O. I will declare L V underscore O N O. I will pass that data element of order number. This is the data element of order. So many times, this is a repetitive learning. I will activate. So just, I will run the program. End user will never understand S underscore O N no. So I will go for go to text element selection text. I will choose dictionary reference. And this order number is from the data element. Now. 
order number. We have range of order numbers. LV underscore ONO is of numeric 10. This select option is for this variable. It means this select option is numeric 10. Now we will fetch data from order header table. Same to same. We will take that, we will fetch that data of these four columns. Now, whenever we will fetch that data of four columns, it means we require an internal table of four columns. When we require an internal table of four columns, it means we require a structure type of four columns. Types. Again, off. LTY underscore data. First column. Data element of order number. Second column. Type. Data element of order. Data element of order date. Order date. Type data element of order date. Payment mode. Type data element of payment mode. CURR type data element of currency. I will end this particular structure. Now I will declare internal table and work areas. LT underscore data. I table of structure. We all know whenever we are referring structure type, the keyword is always, always type table of. Now I will declare work area. Work area is never a table, so we need to use the keyword type only. I'll check the syntax and I will activate the. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with next interactive classical report event that is add user command. Again, this event requires action from our end. Whenever we will click on to the functions created using PF status, at that time, which event will trigger add user command. Then we discuss the requirement. What is the requirement? We will firstly display that data from order header table. We will create our own two functions. One will be ascending, one will be descending. Whenever user will click on to ascending, data will sort in ascending order. Whenever user will click on to descending button, yes, that data will be sought in descending order. And yes, whenever you will click on to the functions, yes, that data will display on the secondary list after that. Because this is most important thing we covered. Whenever we will run the program for the first time, that is basic list. After that, yes, whatever the interaction you are doing on basic list, at that time, it is going on to secondary list after that. Now, based upon that requirement, we took a input for the order number. We took, we created the internal table and work areas. In the next video, we will fetch the data from order header table. We will display the data and we will learn how to create our own functions first. And this part we will continue in the next video. Thank you.